Ooh. 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 Sorry, that we're showing up. Don't I remember this little short dude? Cortez! What's up, my man? What's good? Oh, uh, not much. How are you guys doing? Good, thank you. Okay. Now we just got a call from, uh, okay. and they were just wanting to know what you guys were up to and, and stuff like that. They said they felt a little uncomfortable oh, by your presence. Okay. So, um, other than that, you guys having a good day? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cortez. Yeah, it's Cortez. Uh, Hernan Cortez. Uh, yep. That's good. Yeah. Um, what, what, um, YouTube thing you guys? That's hilarious. Is it, what's the name of it? Oh, that's right. Okay, I see you guys. I'm with the uh, Casey camera boy. Yeah. Casey, Casey. Yeah. Yeah, I, I see you guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. You guys, yeah. you guys park around here or? Oh, I parachute. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's yeah. cool. No, I mean, you guys don't have to say anything, but I'm just, I'm just asking. I'm yeah. not trying to give you guys a, a hard time or anything like that. No, thanks on that. All right. Yeah, very passive, aggressive of you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm not even trying to be aggressive. Yeah, I know, all. just passive. I like you it. know. Yeah. Just doing my job, like I said, yeah. we got called out for that. Yeah. Hey, the sergeant told you last time, um, cause I was kind of giving you the poops with it. Remember by NPM when I did a video. That was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was. But you were actually apprehending someone was under the influence of uh, uh, alcohol or whatever he was. So you know, like. Yeah, he. Uh, I guess I gotta apologize for that because I was giving you the crap and I didn't know what's going on until I realized, but it was too late. Yeah, so. he had he had driven his vehicle while under the influence uh, over some turns. Over the uh, yeah, like yeah. And, uh, yeah. Thank God that he didn't continue because it had, had he hit. It would have been bad. Had he not hit that tree, you remember that? Buddy? Yeah, yeah, I saw that too. Yeah. Had, had he not hit that down. tree, he would have continued yep, yep. into the Manning Avenue traffic. That would have been bad. I know, those party. are the little things, you know, that when I realize that I messed up, I always wish I can go back and talk to the cop you, you and be like, you know what, I messed up, I apologize, just like I'm doing now, because you were doing your job and I was kind of, I thought you were filming. Cause you pull out your oh, phone. Oh no, no. What? what I, I put my my phone yeah. right here so that I can get you know if I get a phone call or something I have yeah. right there. But, so no, I, I I don't do that. Yeah. Hey, or at least turn his lights on. Um, I think he's got it. He's good. We don't get a lot of traffic through here. It's all right. Okay. So other than that, you guys uh, are you guys gonna be around here today or? Uh, what do you think? We can't stay around. Uh, in this day and age, like I said, I'm not giving you a hard time. Yeah. I just, you know, if, if we get calls from other people and they're wondering what we're doing, I just want to be able to say that you guys will be in the area for a certain amount of time. Okay. And then that's it. I mean, as long as you guys aren't interfering with anybody's business, yeah. then that'll be all know, bad. There's not going to be an issue. What, what do you think? Well, what's the partner's thing? Uh, let me go, just go talk to him real quick. Okay. Just in this day, you can get him. Yeah, you guys can... What's up, man? You don't want to say hi? Hey, uh, yeah, no. How, how's your day going? To to you. How, how's your day going? Really good. Yeah. How are you? Good, good. What's your name? Come on, man. Soliar? Soliar? Oh, really? I like that. I like that. You said Soliar like that. Yeah. How long you been working for the force? Long time. Long time? Yeah. Almost retiring? I hope so. That's Hopefully good, man. Start saving money. Have you thought about investing after you retire? Eventually. Think about it. Think about it. That's what I'm doing now, man. Trust me. After that, I'm just going to be investing, man. Can I ask you something? Go ahead. What's this on your chest? You know what? This is for my body camera, but I forgot it. Oh, okay. So, you guys have body cameras? No. No, but this is like a magnet. It goes inside. There is one inside the same way. Okay. So, there is one inside and out. This is really powerful magnet. Yeah, like, I can see that. Yeah, but I forgot my body camera, so that's where I carry so them. It, it clips, it clips in, it clips in, just like, that's why you see some cops, like they have it in the middle like this, that's what it is, like you just clip it in. It's safer because this is like a 100 pound magnet, and actually this is a 50 pound magnet, magnet. so it will be a real force for you to like, like actually, so you can, you can run and it's not gonna fall off your chest. I got beat up, I got beat up like about three months ago doing audits, and because I didn't have this, my camera fell off the ground. 
and the guy who beat me up or hit me as well picked it up on the floor and then he stole oh, it. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, but I got him on camera, so. Oh, good. Now, the clip itself that slides into there is it pretty strong? No, not the magnet, but the the part that goes onto. Oh the, yeah, uh, let me see. Check it out. It tells you inside. It tells you outside. You can mess with it. Well, isn't there a piece that goes in here, right? Yeah. Okay. That's a camera. That's a clip oh, from the camera. Right. And the camera is it pretty strong? Yeah, the, it is. The clip that goes in. But there. if you have it on your clothing, it's it just wobbles and moves. But if you have it like that, it's 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 gonna it's gonna be pretty strong. Trust me. You can see it's pretty strong. Oh yeah. It, you can pinch your skin. It's gonna hurt you. <laughs> I pinched my skin really bad before, so. Yeah, that's pretty neat. I yeah. like that. Yeah. You that's should get cool. it. I mean, there's apartments that they allow you to have your own body camera. You just have yeah. to get it approved by your chief. Right. And that's it. But. For right. safety, I mean, if I was you, for your safety, you should carry one. Well, I mean, that's up to you. I mean, yeah, it's it's not you know? that uh, our chief wouldn't allow it, uh -huh. but if you're gonna use your camera, you have to use it 24/7. Oh, it's yours. Yes. Right. So, the video is it the department's or is it yours? It's yours, exactly. Right. I agree. Yeah, so yeah. Once in the future, when our chief decides to get, because it's pretty expensive. Yeah, it's very. Expensive. It's pretty expensive. The the equipment is expensive, but not as much as retaining the information. That's what's expensive. Yeah. That's what's so, expensive. I, I feel you in that. I got like, in three years, I already have like 20 something hard drives and each is two terabytes. Oh, wow. Just an in information. So trust me, I kill, I kill memory cars every day. <laughs> Every day. Now you guys go around. Yeah, yeah, we're pretty much done today, so you don't have to worry about us being here. No, 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 yeah, no, it's no, gonna be the last call. Guys. Yeah. No, I mean, Once we, we were told what you guys were up to. Yeah. Like, oh. those, those people were cool, but after someone came in, he started being a, you know. But, people don't understand. As yeah. long as you're on the sidewalk, not in the street where you could cause a hazard. Yeah. You can be there. Yeah. Right. That, I mean. You know. Yeah, that's true. I mean, but they were cordial. It was just one guy that always messes it up for everybody. And that's how it is. It's always well, that it bad. It depends on what he was told. True, nah. I mean, yeah, you're right. he didn't see you, information got to him incorrectly. Yeah, well, yeah. We tried to happens. tell him, but he even said, I'm just gonna wait for the cops just to make sure that you're right. And I kind of get it. I mean, hey, if I see something suspicious, you have to call, man. You have to call. I'll be honest. If I see something suspicious that I think can lead to something bigger, I'm gonna call. And I get their point, but we try to explain them. Sometimes they don't get it, so you have to come and explain them again. Yeah. But thank you for your time. You've been very professional, Mr. Solaris, right? No, Soliar. 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 Thank you so much for that. Stay safe, dude. All right. Monday. Oh. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm good. Code four. Thank you. Code four? <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> so like, like I said, um, you know, domestic, domestic terrorism is be, be anything, you know, like I said, from the guy going into the, that McDonald's back in the, the 80s, shooting everybody up, to uh, the Unabomber sending out things. Yeah. Um, I mean, this is like once in a great while, but what about the cops that kill people every day? For like, I mean, those are the real terrorists. Well, you know what? If, if, you, really, if you really look at the statistics, there's more violence people on people than there is with, with officers doing stuff. So. You really look at it in, in those areas. How, how many how many unreported um, how many unreported uh, attacks happen uh, with with black on black crime? Or worried about brown on brown? Or even back and forth just the gang situations. Yeah. Where you could have an Asian gang attacking a Hispanic gang. Okay, those are still those are real things, but people don't report that. What they want to report is the stuff that makes the news. The stuff that makes the news is police officer violence, you know, uh, violence. But we're supposed to be high, um, at a higher standard. Though. Exactly, we're all supposed to be held to a higher standard. But the poor thing is, is that. So people get lumped into into a bad into a bad situation. So if a lot of people say, "Well, all officers are the same," it's like we're not. A lot of officers are all not true. No, nope. no. There there are times, and it's there there are documented times when officers 
have reported to other officers for the crimes that they've done. I mean, obviously, just recently in Fresno, you have Officer Rick Fitzgerald, who is, was put on leave because of, uh, I think, some type of attending the uh, Proud Boys Damn. type thing. I'm okay. not sure if you guys were up to date on that. No, I wasn't on it. So, yeah, I'm not looking to it. But he's on administrative leave for that, you know? We have to watch what we do, our P's and Q's, you know? With, with, yep. with what happens in today's culture, um, I mean, we really have to pay attention to what we're doing, you know? We can't, can't be excessive, you know? If, if a guy wants to come out here and hurt me, I have a family, okay? I have a family, a job to do. I have a community to protect. I live and work in my community. Okay. I I love my community. I love the people in it. I love the businesses. I want to see our community thrive. I don't want to see bad things happen to a place where my kids are growing up. Because what yeah. happens? My kids remember that and they say, "Oh, I don't want to live in Colorado. It's dangerous. Or, I don't want to live in Fresno. It's dangerous." I hear so a lot. Yeah. My job is to make it safer for them to feel safe so that their families will want to live here when they grow up. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know, why, why do I want to portray something bad that could ruin me? I mean, if, if, if I violate your rights, I can lose my home. Right? I can, I can, I can lose my home. I don't want to lose my home. Well, you guys have had that Damn. Because when officers do violate the right to see them, and you guys will take everything from them. Wow. That's what this officer Cortez knows about the Constitution, I hope. And yeah. Said, Everybody uh, has a right to freedom. You know, we have a right to free speech. Yeah. We have that right, but it's how we use that right that's important. There's a, a way to exploit it in a good way, but then people will also exploit it on the opposite end in a bad way and say, well, I'm doing this because I have the right to do so. Okay, you have the right, but is it <laughs> but is it good? Does it benefit anybody? You know what I mean? So, you know, it, that, that's, that's the culture right now. People, people see something happening and, 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 and they want to lump an officer, maybe one officer and his bad actions, and, and say that all officers are bad. When in fact, hey, I don't condone what that officer did. Okay? Uh, what was the recent one where the officer was seen kneeling on? Well, they're actually oh. trial right now every day for the. Right. Yeah. Here's my thing. <laughs> we have officers here, and our officer is small enough that if I tell my officer you're not doing something right, or he can say the same thing back to me, okay? If I'm being excessive or another officer is being excessive, we work closely enough to where I can say, dude, you need to back up. Or he can tell me the same thing. And there's no hurt feelings about it. And a lot of officers have a hard time doing that because I feel like a lot of officers have too much pride to tell no, like when they're doing something wrong, the other officers won't say nothing, and I feel like more of them should say something. You're right, and, and that's the thing. That's why it's a lot of times there are officers that were trained by officers that lived in a different culture. Yeah. Okay. At the time, policing was different compared to the policing now. Those officers were trained under those those officers. So what happens? That gets bred out. Just like if you're breeding a dog with a recessive trait, they have, you know, uh, curly hair. <laughs> Read that curly hair into that those next pups, right? Yeah. So the same thing with training. You, know, you have officers that were you know, older culture for training officers that were younger, and they were brought. Well, that's the way I do it. That's the way we do it. That's the way we do it. And, and so on and so forth. The older school cops are scarier, man, because they don't know really about the Constitution. <laughs> but I ran into some of I'll, those. I'll tell you this. Some of them do. There's a lot that do. And, and let me tell you, 
that culture does change and it gets bred out. Okay? Well, that culture is you do what I say and that's how it goes. That's, that's how, it, how it was. That's and, how it but it's, it's changed now. Why? Because officers now goes, we're going, we're all going to school. We're all learning different things. We're all learning the culture now. And we're bringing that into the police work that we do. I honestly feel like the auditors and cop watchers actually changed it because you guys, to, to this day, don't get trained really on the Constitution and stuff like that. You guys get trained on policy, and we're the ones that made it, brought it to your guys' attention about the Constitution. Of the course, of course, and, and that's the thing. A lot, a lot of outside. There's a lot of outside influence that creates change mm -hmm. within within companies. Okay, it could be Google, it could be. Uh, any company, because that's what I mean. Police departments are companies. You know, we're all businesses. Our business is, is peace and protection. Okay, and and, and up the law and enforce it. Okay, the Constitution it gives up. What? How, how many different branches are, are there in the government? There's legislative, executive, judicial, right? Yeah, I can't even tell you. Well, so those are the three. three. Yeah. Legislative, executive, and judicial. Yeah. Right? We're part of the judicial part where we enforce the laws with, mm -hmm. as far as with the executive and, and the other branches do, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what we do. We just, we just, Damn. we execute what the laws say, okay? It's not our job to pass judgment because that's what the judicial branch is for. So if a guy has a warrant, you go pick him up, it doesn't matter how he got there. He's broken the law, and he has to go and be seen by somebody else. Yeah. By the judicial, by the judicial part of the government, right? And and the legislatures are the ones that make the laws. Right. You guys help influence the legislature and, and the executive branches, and so we can make different laws and change the policies from within, so that people can see that this is how you have to treat people. This is how you have to. Right? So that you and I aren't confrontational. I'm here to protect you just as much as you're here to see what's going on, right? Yeah. If some guy came outside this building or this business and wanted to club you with the bat, my job wasn't to let him club you with the bat. My job is to protect him, protect you from being clubbed by that guy. Right? Yeah. You have, this is a public walkway, right? Yeah. My kids, your kids, you guys can all walk down this public walkway. You guys can look at the cars, you guys can look at the business. And as long as you guys aren't impeding what they're doing, everybody lives fine, right? Freely. Yeah. So, like I said, you guys bring on change. And sometimes there are officers out there that, that don't like that change. They don't care for the change. They don't care for the change because it's like, oh, I'm still going to do my I don't blame them, man. You, they love the power. They love the power that comes with it. And well, who would well it? here's the thing. There is a certain amount of power that officers are given, right? Any government official, people are given a certain amount of power. They're, they're given um, the ability to do certain things. It's what we do with it and how we do it that counts for, for the public. Would you say so? Yeah. Right? Yeah. You would say so. That's... It, that's how they do it. And if they abuse it, well, then there should be consequences for it. Am I correct? Yeah. So, if I do something wrong, then I, I, I should be held accountable for it. Just as yeah. much as anybody else should. Yeah. That's crazy, right? man. If you trespass on, a, on somebody's property, you should be held accountable for it. Yeah, yeah I agree. If I trespass on your property, you should be held accountable for it. Okay. You should know. And that's why we have certain laws. I, I, this is my office. I drive around in my office. I, I, I see things that are wrong and I have to try to help fix them. This phone right here, this is my office. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> right? But the but you could say your office is mobile. You guys walk around. Yeah. This is my yeah. side of Same. Okay? Same well, the only thing is, is that that I have to enforce the laws that are out there. You guys don't do that. Yeah. You guys yeah. just live within those laws. Hopefully, you know, don't break those. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, man. I'm. I'm actually glad I was able to see you. 
I told your sergeant last time, hey, tell your officer. I think it was with them that we were filming. I think it was some other dude. Um, and yeah, I told him. And I remember that. I'm, I'm glad I got to see you again, man. I well, got to apologize good. to you. Oh, my bad, my bad. Yeah, I forgot it's my hand. That's okay. But, uh, that's okay. but I, I, I'm glad we got to, to, I got to apologize, you know. And well, my subscribers you. didn't tell me, nobody told me to apologize. This is from me. I usually don't apologize for no reason. Unless I'm wrong, I apologize and I admit that I was wrong. And I think I was wrong that day and that's why I apologize to well, you. No one that. told me to do so, just in case, you know. No, I, I don't got peer pressure. So, I do have to, uh, thank you, man. No, I, like I said, I'm not here to give you guys a hard time. You know, people, like you said, they were just uncomfortable. And, you know, I, I know how that stuff goes. You guys have a right to be here. As long as you guys aren't eating anybody's business no, no, no. progress, then hey, I, I'm okay. And they were cordial. I, I never got your guys' names. You guys don't have a right, you don't have to give it to me. I'm A-bad, I mean, I don't mind. I'm Anthony, man. I'm a bad. Yeah, nice I'm A-bad. And a bad. A bad. Nice to meet you. Like a bad boy, but not a bad boy. Just a bad. <laughs> a bad. Okay. Yeah. So, like, like I said, I, I'm just, I'm just here to talk. And wow. This is gonna be a great video. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, Thank explain you for things. Because this is gonna be a great video. Like I said, I don't, I don't want. Here's my thing. I have kids, right? I don't want my kids to be afraid to talk to the police. Just because I'm a police officer doesn't mean that that they won't be scared because of something, okay? Yeah. I wouldn't want your kids to be scared to call the police in case something ever happened, okay? And hopefully, hopefully we can change the climate of things to come so that, you know, hey, if you're doing something wrong, you're doing something wrong, you go to jail. Okay, if it means you go to jail, then you go to jail. Yep. Okay? I, I've dealt with many people that said, hey, I screwed up. Let's go. Damn, yeah. Okay? Yeah. I've also dealt with those people where I have to kind of fight with because I'm doing my job. Yeah. But they understand they have to go to jail. Have you ever been to jail? Have I? Yeah. Have I ever been in jail? Yeah, I take people to jail, I go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> he got us, dude! You know I mean? He got uh, us! No. no. I think no, you guys can't. No. Any teenagers? What? You get a background I'll tell you this. I'll tell you I was throbbed yesterday, okay? I was, I was throbbed yesterday. Yeah. yeah. You rarely get hired. Huh? You rarely get hired if you're going to jail. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, my, my, like I said, my thing is, is that if we can change the culture, of officers, we can change that so that people in our community feel safe to come to us. That they know that hey, that's because it's not, I can talk to him, even though I might have a warrant. I'm gonna talk to him and make people that will work. I, I want to. I want to have. I want to have a, a community like that. I want to be able to say, hey, you know. We're uh, far from there, man. <laughs> we well. Can I think it takes it takes a lot more officers to do so, to be able to do that, to support ourselves, uh, to better to better our community. And yeah. it's going to take a lot more officers with, with that mentality to be able to change the climate. So we can do my job. I can do my job safe, right? Yeah. I, I want to do my job safe. I, I don't want to. I don't want to be over there and say. If I handled something different, where a guy would pull a pistol out on right? Right, yeah. Maybe, maybe a guy over here knows this guy, he goes, yeah, this guy's gonna hurt you. But I'm, I'll stand by it if, if you need it. Just a community member. I've, I've had, I have one instance where I've had a gentleman that I arrested before help me with another one. Okay? Damn. You don't have that happen unless you change the climate or you, you change the thought process of somebody else. You change that person. Okay. And, and that's my goal. I, I, I don't... Mm -hmm. We have policy to follow. We have policy and procedures that we have to do, abide by. But it doesn't mean that we can't be human. I mean, I, 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 I go home, I take this off on this one. This is just my job. This is what I do. It was a calling for me because I wanted to make something better. 
So hopefully mm-hmm. you can make a change in, in, in your department. Hopefully there already is a change, and hopefully you can make a change in reality, man. Damn. I, and I hope so too, because I think that you, you, there's a lot of old things that people go by. Like like I said, you know, you have old officers that may have trained people to do certain things a certain way. There's an old adage that says, you know, my grandma used to cut the ends off of the pot roast and put it in a pan. So her daughter would do the same thing. But she don't know why. And then her daughter then didn't know why. And then I asked her grandma, I said, why did you cut the ends off the, the pot roast and put it there? Goes, well, because my pan was that size and that's the only reason I did it. Yeah. She goes, why are you doing it? Because you well, did it. Because that's the way you did it. But she never <laughs> knew why. Yeah. Right? Wow. It was only because she couldn't fit the pot roast in the pan. Life lesson right there, man. Right? Yeah. So it's the same thing. It's like, you know, we have to change those things. Damn. We don't understand why they did it, but we have to change and ask questions to find out why. Mm-hmm. You know, so that we don't have we don't have the shootings. Um, we don't have the people getting hurt. Um, you know, we, we can we can all live safely with one another. And, and when I say, and I don't know what you guys think about it, where they talk about Black Lives Matter, where they talk about Brown Lives Matter, or whatever. You know, to me, you know, people are going to put up Blue Lives Matter. You know the way they put up Blue Lives Matter? Yeah, because they have fallen officers? It, no, they put up Blue Lives Matter because they felt that that was the thing to do because Black Lives Matter is like the opposite. Okay, yeah, okay, I see. So I see what you're saying. saying. Yes, yes, I get your point. Well, why don't we just put All Lives, lives matter. matter? Because they do, ultimately, right? Yeah, but everybody, like, everybody misses the point on why they put that in the first place. And they, only, they only put that because... They get shot more by police, and it's a fact. Well, per capita, you look at that. You look at those those numbers. Again. Go back. Well, not only shoot, but they're treated different, man. They, and they really are. I and see you know it. They all see it. You're not wrong in saying that. You're not wrong in saying that. And that's the only. So you say right there, we're not wrong, and that's true. And that's the only reason why they put that up, man. And people want to make a mockery of it. Right. Right. They Give me just a minute. Give me just a minute. That's just reality to it, bro. They're just trying to make a mockery of it. Hey, Cortez, we're gonna head out, man. Me too, okay? You take and, care, and like man. I Thank said, you. It, it, it was nice meeting you. Uh, shake nice your hand, okay? Because you, that, that's what I do. Thank you, man. All right, so you guys be safe. You're the second officer who has opened up like that, or at least to me. Because you open up. We need some stripes already too, man. One was <laughs> one was a sergeant from Guadalupe, City of Guadalupe. I don't know if you ever heard City of Guadalupe. Yeah. It's kind of by Pismo or something over there. He opened up to us, me and some other channel. He was pretty cool. Well, yeah. like I said, you know, yeah. if, if it can start with one officer and then it cascades down into the next ranks that are coming, then I think that our culture with people looking at law enforcement and then, you know, it, it will change. And I yeah. hope it does because I want to do my job safely. I want to go home at the end of the night. I have kids. You know, I have somebody that I love. I have a, I have a house. I don't want that stuff to be taken from me and have somebody sue me because I, I mistreated them. You know yes, what I'm saying? Yeah. Damn. I don't want that. I don't think any cop wants that. And I think that there are times when some officers have that I don't care attitude. Yeah. But like I said, it's, it's up to other officers to make that culture. Yeah. And, and you know, I, I subscribe to one, one culture myself. Damn. No so, wonder. I see. I see where you're coming from, man. You're, 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 you're gonna be the change, man. Stay safe. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day. All right, Casey, camera boy. Holy Jesus.